Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. It's Alicia and Jim Forcore of Forcore Heating and Air Conditioning here. And today we're talking forced air systems. And specifically, we're gonna talk about um, the ductwork designs. And I wanna know, Jim, has ductwork design changed over the years or is it still pretty much just constructed the same way? Uh, over the years, Alicia, it's changed dramatically. Uh, you have to remember when we first went to forced air, uh, back so many years ago, we were burning coal and they were gravity furnaces. They didn't have a blower on them. They just depended on gravity, uh, natural convection to bring the heat up. And usually that would entail big registers, big ductwork because there was no blower and they had to carry the volume at very low velocities. Um, the registers were on the inside walls. They thought that's where they wanted to deliver the heat and uh, the grills, the return air grills were in the floor, usually on the outside. And over the years, they found out that they had a cold exterior walls and they were moving all the furniture to the inside walls because that's where the heat was. So the next thing they decided was to put the supply registers on the perimeter at the outside walls so that the whole room would be warm instead of just warming it up from the inside out. We'll warm it up from the outside in because you're not going to have any heat loss through the inside walls. So if we wash the outside walls with heat, we'll get the full room and comfort there. Um, also, the ductwork got smaller with forced air because now we have fans and blowers moving the air so we don't need the bigger, the bigger pipes. Um, then air conditioning changed everything, okay? I think it was in the 70s or whatever that the air conditioning really came to the residential application. And you had the big two-story homes and the common complaint was, my upstairs is hot. Mm -hmm. Well, we've had to address that to run adequately sized ductwork to the upstairs. And even in some of the new house, they're putting the registers in the upstairs in the ceiling, basically, ducting the upstairs for air conditioning and the downstairs for heating, which has been very effective. Mm -hmm. uh, and is that what you call zoning? Well, no, that's that's just a different duct system. Zoning okay. is when we start adding more thermostats to the application. Okay. We're still, uh, this is still a one thermostat application. Now, zoning, yes, you would split that ductwork up into, let's say you have a bigger home and you okay. want to zone it in upstairs and downstairs with two thermostats, one for each floor. Uh, then we have to add some more mechanicals to it. But um, the duct design would still be relatively the same. And then now we're concerned with getting air conditioning to the second floor. And of course, the supply registers are all on the outside walls now. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm glad I asked then, because it, mm -hmm. it, it kind of achieves a similar purpose, but it is definitely different. So we actually have more videos out there about mm -hmm. duct work and zoning. So if you have any further questions about that, you know, you can check those out. You can give the team a call and they'll be able to answer those questions for you. And we just want to encourage you to check out the rest of our videos. If this is your first time here, we have um, probably hundreds at this point of videos out there where we discuss mm -hmm. questions like this or different topics or services that for offer so make sure you visit online fourcoreheating.com to explore those and if you're ready to get in contact with the team you can just give them a call so thank you so much for watching and thank you jim thank you alicia